Would you drink toilet water? <laughs> hey, it's a legitimate question that residents of California need to consider. On December 19th, California regulators approved a once unthinkable concept, turning toilet water into drinking water. Hello everybody and welcome to Time Bomb. In this episode, we're talking about a new set of California rules that allow water agencies to convert sewage into drinking water. Hit that like button and let's get started. Allowing wastewater to be recycled into drinking water is a big step for a state that has struggled for decades to secure reliable sources of drinking water. California has tried almost everything to obtain more fresh water. They channel it from the rain-rich north to the arid south, home to a large portion of the state's population. They import water all the way from the Colorado River. There's even a few attempts at seawater desalination. But all of these efforts are not enough to meet the growing demands of California's 39 million inhabitants. California has been through multiple extreme droughts, including the most recent one that scientists say was the driest three-year period on record that left state's reservoirs at dangerously low levels. Thankfully, today looks much better. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, California currently experiences almost no drought conditions. However, the scenario was very different just one year ago. At that time, about 35% of the state faced extreme drought, while a staggering 98% of California was grappling with some degree of drought intensity. California will face water shortages again. It's not a question of if, but when. California needs to find new sources of fresh water. And these new toilet-to-tap regulations aim to do just that. The State Water Sources Control Board, in a unanimous vote, outlined for the first time how water suppliers can treat recycled wastewater, a process known as direct potable reuse, and send it directly to the taps. These new rules, outlined in this 68-page document, have been more than a decade in the making. Many of these rules are based on wastewater recycling systems that are already in place throughout California. That's right, several local water agencies are already recycling wastewater for various uses. The Ontario Region Minor League Ice Hockey Team has used wastewater to make ice for its rink in Southern California. Soda Spring Ski Resort near Lake Tahoe has used it to make snow. And farmers in the Central Valley, where much of the nation's vegetables, fruits, and nuts are grown, use it to water their crops. But the important question remains, what about drinking water? Well, one of the earliest efforts to convert wastewater into drinking water is in Orange County, with its groundwater replenishment system. This project, considered a pioneer in wastewater recycling, uses a three-step advance process microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light to treat the wastewater. The purified water is then used to replenish groundwater basins, which serve as a source of drinking water. These groundwater basins act as an environmental buffer where the treated wastewater mixes with natural water where it undergoes a natural purification process. But these new set of guidelines outline something completely different. They allow that treated wastewater to go directly into the pipes that carry drinking water. The new wastewater recycling rules, often dubbed toilet to tap, is an extensive and complex six-stage process. Here's how it works. First up, preliminary treatment, where all the random debris in sewage is filtered out. Typically, bars and grates are used to remove the largest objects. Next up, we have the primary treatment process. This is where the waste is sent to settling tanks, where heavy solids sink to the bottom where they are filtered out. At the same time, oils and soapy chemicals flow to the top, where they too are filtered out. Then we have the secondary treatment, where organic material and other biological contaminants are removed. This is accomplished by using microorganisms to gradually digest the contaminants. After gorging, these microorganisms clump together and settle to the bottom of the tank, where they too are filtered out. Now we have the tertiary treatment process, where the water is disinfected. Typically, chlorine is used to kill bacteria, making the water safe for many purposes, including irrigating crops and watering golf courses. 
but it's not safe enough to drink yet. This is followed by the advanced purification process. This is where the water is disinfected by ozone, digested by more microbes, and filtered through activated carbon. Reverse osmosis is also used to clear away chemicals. Then salt and UV light cleanses the remaining contaminants. And then finally, the water is subjected to the regular treatment that all drinking water currently undergoes. Obviously, the number one concern with converting wastewater into drinking water is about safety. Water agencies in California are eager to construct large new wastewater recycling plants. To accomplish this, they will need public support to fund these projects. In order to get public support, water agencies will need to convince customers that the recycled toilet water is safe to drink. When we dug deeper into this new set of rules, we noticed much of these rules are geared towards safety. For example, the new rules require the wastewater to be treated for all pathogens and viruses, even if they aren't in the wastewater. That's different from regular water treatment rules, which only require treatment for known pathogens. In fact, the treatment is so stringent, it removes all of the minerals that make fresh drinking water taste so good, meaning they have to be added back in at the end of the filtration process. Another rule that stood out is the wastewater treatment operators are required to be sufficiently trained and certified on the new wastewater treatment technology. They are also required to be on site at all times if they are treating wastewater. A big hurdle to wastewater recycling is cost, which is significant but nowhere near the cost of creating potable water using desalination. Building new wastewater treatment plants will be expensive, probably too expensive for many of the smaller communities. However, many of the larger water districts already have plans to build wastewater treatment plants. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, which serves 19 million people, aims to use wastewater to produce up to 150 million gallons of drinking water per day. A project in San Diego is aiming to produce nearly half the city's water by 2035 using recycled wastewater. Another thing standing in the way is the California Office of Administrative Law, or OAL. OAL is responsible for reviewing all new regulations proposed by state agencies. This process should be completed by the summer or fall of this year. California is not the first state to approve rules related to wastewater reuse. Colorado adopted regulations in January of 2023. However, at this point, there are no plans for utilities to move forward with new wastewater recycling plants. Texas, Florida, and Arizona are also working on their own set of rules, but so far, they have nothing passed. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Before you go, please consider subscribing. I really value your support. I'll be back with another video next week.